Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. Why is that guy's horse pink? <laughs> My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. I'm the man on the stick. He's We're got playing him, folks. Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'm following this thing through the mall. Oh, shit. Hey. hey Why mama. is that guy's horse pink? Dude, what what you is never with seen? you following me? <laughs> Well, what is? Wow, she's I'm fucking getting. I thought you had a, a sweet cookie back there, young lady. All right, so let's right, let's not sexually harass women, <laughs> but we're gonna get moving <laughs> Jesus. here. Well, I said you were just you were just casually following her around. Is that pink? It's, I think it's brown, but it, but it looks pink in the right light. Yeah, they're all pink on the inside, Jonas. Oh, Jesus Christ! Just saying. <laughs> I guess that's true. All right, so I'm going to go in here, and it's another little question mark. Oh, who are we going to beat up? You got to go around the side, friend. No, well. I'm going to open this door from here. Nobody like, tells no, I'm going to do this. Oh, wheelbarrow. My arch nemesis. Out of the way! Excuse so, me. Out of my way. <laughs> Sirs, madams, ladies. Just climbing over shit. Yeah, well, fuck. I don't see where the guy is. He's dead. Is it this guy? <clears throat> Mister. It's oh, it's like one of those like roundabout areas. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe it's back here. He's just kind of hanging out somewhere. He's going to be... Oh, there he is. Ah, excuse me, bud. Whoa. Hello. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> What is it for? <laughs> oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would like have it, you are in the legal hooch Steve capital Hunt of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? I don't need much. A oh, hundred gallons. Right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, <laughs> friend. I'll pay. Yeah. Just, just, just bring it here. Support good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Why are you talking over your shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> All right, take. <laughs> Just whispering to himself. Talk to Al. Oh, man, I got to go all the way to Rhodes. Oh, geez. Is there a stagecoach? Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to just take a trip over. God damn, that's not all close. All right, so we'll, we'll, take a, we'll take a trip to Rhodes. Okay, let's uh go to the stagecoach. Where is it? Boo Booyah. Oh, you coached it. Remember that show, Coach? Coach. Vaguely. What was it about? <laughs> Was it about a coach? Yeah, he coached. Or was it about... Had Craig T. Nelson. Hello? He was coach. I mean, I... Jobber. Didn't he have, like, the fucking uh, the, uh, Hulk Hogan hairstyle? Move! That was Dauber. Yeah, he had the fucking the guy, the, like, the assistant. He had that bleach blonde, like, Yeah, I don't remember haircut. anything about that show, though. That was, like, Coach and Wings were the two shows where I was like, I don't get it. I don't... I didn't get Coach. I mean, it was weird. <laughs> It was just about like a college coach. Did you get wings at all? Did that you... was the one about like the like the little airplane hanger or something. What? <laughs> it wasn't a cartoon. The little airplane hanger. No, like they all worked in like an airplane. Yeah, they worked place. at like an airliner or some shit. Yeah. That is about the premise of it, but I didn't really get it. Oh no, I didn't it get that. It seemed very uh It seemed kind of like hey, stupid. Yeah. Oh, it was. I did watch it, though, because I was, like, a kid, I think. Where do I want to go? Rhodes? Yeah, two bucks. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, man, there was a bunch of shows back then in the day. They were just like, why is this a thing? I would say that about Frasier, but I know Frasier has, like, a cult following. But yeah, people like Frasier a lot. I like the theme song. <laughs> Baby, well, I hear the blues are calling. <laughs> yeah. I said, da 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 scrambled eggs. Toss salad and scrambled eggs. Da 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 But I don't know what you can do. Yeah, that was my shit. I'm not going to sing the whole thing. I'll spare you. <laughs> Even though I have the voice of an angel. You do have the voice of an angel. Oh, thanks, Joey. One of them angels that makes people are. do things. 
A majestic, yeah, manipulative yeah. angel. <laughs> that sounds more like a, a demon of some sort. Where the fuck yeah, right? do I go? Do I go here for the hooch? Professor. Ooh, Professor what wants that it. does say? Oh, yeah, moonshine. All right, so I'll just Do go. it. Professor's just got some moonshine for you, dude. All right. Hey. All right, over under on this guy being drunk. <laughs> over two times the drunk. Oh, he's in the post office. Whoa. Maybe not then. Can I rob you? Oh, these are sh our shady friends in the post office that have, like, Is that not who I talk to? this guy. Oh, yeah, he's not drunk. Oh, ask about moonshine. Um, it's the rat, man. More specific. A wagon time. full of moonshine, wagon thanks. Full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. Oh. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. All right. Uh, read the. Oh, I gotta read the note. Okay. So that will be in my satchel. No, okay. I don't know why I can't read it. Is it because I'm crouched? Am I too crouched to read? <laughs> <You're>, I <yeah>. was. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, you can't read when you're knelt down. All right, uh, read it. I can't read that. Uh, bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of San Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine and bottles in the back. Drive careful with it, X. Kisses? How you doing? Yeah, I got kisses. Wait, at which the end. one's hugs and which one's kisses? Uh, hugs are the circles, X's are the kisses. Okay, so whoever wrote that to you gave you a fucking virtual letter kiss. That's awesome, dude. He smooched you. He's like, oh, go commit crimes. Mwah. Either that or it was like Malcolm X or some shit. <laughs> Malcolm right. X transported to the 1895 and was like, hey, man, got some moonshine coming down if you want to get it. <laughs> Yeah, man. You know, the X the X lineage goes way back. You never know. I assume there's a whole, you know, Malcolm X Senior and his granddaddy X. And Grand? Then, oh, it's like oh, so it may not have been like Malcolm X, may have been Malcolm U or Malcolm D. Yeah, or yeah. Yeah, because it's and, like, like yeah. No X matter what, X is gonna give it to you. <laughs> That's what you need to know. Uh, I did hear that X gonna give it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I heard that. All right, we're back at St. Denis. I got to go find the stagecoach um, full of fucking... I don't really remember where it said to even... up. Oh, well, there you go. This must be it. Jesus Christy, dude. So I got to go way up here now. Oh, God. this is this might be the whole episode just doing this guy. But God, I mean, hey, go it's, get some fuck. it's part of the story. Hey, there's line. your horse. Yep, that is definitely your horse. Yeah. Come here. Right. Let's get it, girl. Come on, your horse. Let's go. <laughs> I love how like it just it was like a by happenstance in the beginning and then that's been like the trend. Oh god <laughs> This is where I want it to be. 360 No oh, watch man. parkour Park did you see it? I did see you Do you fucking see him? You did a, a 360 no scope on top of that carriage after a head <laughs> after a head on collision. <laughs> Alright. Let's fucking get moving here because I am trash right now. Right. Trash dash 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 so, Jonas. Yeah, dude. Have you heard of... I just kind of wanted to bring this up because I heard it this morning. You familiar with the McCaffrey... Or how was it pronounced? The antivirus? Yeah. McAfee. I think it's McAfee. McAfee? That might be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember it either, but I know it's not McCaffrey. It's something else. But uh, the guy who came up with that idea, he moved to Belize after he sold his company about 24, 25 years ago. Okay. You and know, I think I may have actually heard about this. I don't have know. Have you? I remember hearing something about the McAfee guy, but I don't remember exactly what it was. And, uh, well, his intentions are apparently to run for president. Of the U.S.? <laughs> yes, of the U.S. Oh. I'm pretty okay. sure we're the only country that has presidents at this point. Nah, I think dude. They every, got they the have president of, I think they call the, Mexico has a president, I think. Oh, El Presidente. Yeah, and they yeah. have like, right. well, what's that guy who like, who like says all that fucked up shit? Like he, uh, he like says what? like really like sexist stuff, and like he like, uh, that guy he's from. Oh, God. oh Italians. No, not that guy, dude. <laughs> Fucking, uh, he's Putin. Like the, no, no, he's like Das Führer. Um, 
God damn it. What's that? I can't think of what country it is. Nicaragua or something? And he, like, they, like, attacked protest. Like, he, he ordered government officials to, like, attack protesters. And he says, like, blatantly sexist shit all the time. Is he the one that said the really fucked up shit to uh, America's sweetheart, uh, Ellen Page? Maybe. <laughs> I know who you're talking about, and I'm pretty sure he's Italian. Nothing against Italians. But no, maybe. dude, I'm going to look it up. Uh, well, well, we're going to... Well, anyways. We're at the stagecoach uh, now. Finish the story. Well, I can't. We're at the stagecoach. Oh, okay. All right. I got to wait for the wagon. So up now. All right. We'll wait. But, uh, yeah, I guess he's running for president, but there's, like, a whole bunch of shit about this guy. Apparently, he moved to Belize because I guess who he... Who got here? He's a sex offender. Oh, <laughs> oh man, Jody, I'll get into it before the end of the episode. But is that right? I mean, uh, yes and no, kind of. But yes, uh, you're yes either a sex offender or you're not. There's not much of a gray area on that. Yes and no. Yeah. Steal it, do it. Oh, so I just gotta like shoot these motherfuckers. Let me get a gun out. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want a shotgun. Thank you. Double sir. barrel shotgun. They're running away. Carbine repeater is fine. Oh, get the driver first. Right in the well, back obviously. of the fucking noggin. Oh, my God. Look at you, fucking Action Jackson. Of course, I missed him. <laughs> yeah, you got everyone but the driver at first. So your online skills have gotten way fucking better because you obviously can shoot to kill like a motherfucker now. That's what, that's what I do, man. Damn, dude. It was just like... They didn't even, before they even had time to react. One of them ran away, though, so you're going to be wanted. Did he? Yeah, one got I'm away, pretty I'm pretty sure. sure. I shot everybody. Oh, you did? Yeah, dude. Well, it's all that GTA coming back to you, but you're using, like, pump action oh, shit instead God. of... I used uh, to be so good at GTA. You did. I used to love it. Like, yeah, I remember first playing GTA with you going, oh, so <laughs> this guy kills. I, made the, I did make that look pretty easy. All right, be careful, though. If you go off the fucking rails here, nah, you're going to be in be the good. fucking swamp. In the mud? That would be awesome. Dude. Awkward. I got reminded of the end of the one of those videos you drove a carriage into the water and the horses were like drowning that. at the end. I was like, oh God. I remember that. You're like, end the episode. <laughs> I'm like, the why horses do we are wanna... just thrashing in the water. No, we were just watching the animal suffer and you know, this is laughing his I ass. I couldn't off. help it, dude. It was funny. <laughs> well, that was a pretty easy. I got a bunch of moonshine, as you can see back there. I'm fucking your fence up. Sorry, sirs. Wait, could you. Did you move horses? Oh, no, they don't want to do anything, man. I, it's I the new not. horses. They don't They don't walk. Goddamn millennial horses. Back in my day, a horse used to, to drive. Back in my day, the horses drove themselves. Yeah, so uh, the guy, he moved to Belize after he lost a bunch of his money uh, just okay. through like, bad business ventures. Right, right. And uh, we'll, we'll get into so, it after this. I, I brought you your... You motherfucker. You're a wonderful man. Give me some wonderful. money. All you the money. money? Oh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. That's not a hundred gallons. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. Uh, Ooh, uh, sure. I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. I used to have one of those jugs oh. sitting in my house. You got my money? That, like, exact oh, well, jug. It is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, Flashlights. So, so <laughs> what are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Oh, oh shit. Uh, do you know the police chief? Oh, my God. As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? God damn it, man. This dude is making me, putting me to fucking yeah. work over here. So is he going to let you, like, take a fucking prisoner? <laughs> what? And, I mean. And investigate him in the chair? That wasn't really what was no, that's said. That's right. It's right there. It's got to be this one, right? Yeah, professor. Oh, yeah. There's another one over there. What's that? What's this one? 
Brothers oh, just Dorkin. it's a new one. Somebody right, needs to yeah. talk to you about something. I'll do that one later. All right. So this the McCaffrey guy. Uh, he his plans are to run for president, but he has a bit of a scattered past. Right. While living in Belize, after he lost a bunch of his money, right, he had about four million dollars. But four million dollars in Belize, you can live like a king. Right, 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 right. Um, so apparently he lived down there, and he had himself a, a harem of girls. Naturally, I mean, you know, sure, some of them were only seventeen years old. Oh my but, god! <laughs> but, so he was like polygamous, but he wasn't married to him. But he was paying these girls essentially, you know, like a month's worth, you know, a day in in Belizean money to uh, do sexual favors for him, and you know, basically just be like his uh his own little his own little kingdom, essentially. Okay, um, and he did. Uh, so he didn't like marry them. He just like bought them. He had a That's harem. It. He didn't buy them. They were, you know, they had. I don't know if they have contracts or anything. Right, right, right. <laughs> but they were just. Face the law. I'm not fucking with any of this stuff. Oh bullshit, Jonas! Oh dude, what the fuck? Bullshit! God damn it! Sounds like we got a real. Dude, you bumped into the. Car I know, on the dude. Horse. He was run. He was doing the illegal thing by running. He ran into you. God damn it! And Saint Denis is bullshit when it's trying when you're trying to get away from the cops, man. Oh my god, it's so big. That's what she said. Are you? I barely. I brushed up against you. I could have just apologized. Right. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> but I mean, no. I think you would have been more understanding. He ran into an alley. Yeah, exactly. And you like were cutting across the alley, like. All right, so anyway, let me. <laughs> Jesus. I, I want to try to finish the McCaffrey story. <laughs> so he basically had this compound that he, he bought. Oh my God, where he was just like doing, uh, he did a lot of bath salts and, you know, other drugs. Oh, he, he was doing bath salts. Yeah, he was definitely doing bath salts there. And he was just oh, fucking. God. Every time you run into a cop, it expands the. I know this, but how do I escape them? <laughs> Uh, you don't. I'm trying to. I gotta get out of the city, essentially. Just keep. Oh God. I know they're, they're everywhere. Up. They're yeah, just showing up everywhere. There's so many Saint Denis. There's one straight. Oh wait, no, there's. Yeah, they're. Uh, dude, they're everywhere. No, I gotta get out of the city. That's why I'm just going straight north here. Jesus, dude. Because when you're in the city, they're just fucking everywhere. So yeah, he was doing a lot of bath salts there, and you know he was having these girls perform sexual favors, and I know this kind of goes. On, on to a, a certain topic that I always like to talk about. Dude, they're chasing you. Yeah, I, I'd imagine they would be. They can't keep up with me, man. My horse is super fast. I've got the fastest they're horse be in the way. 10 miles away. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you're 10 miles away. You're like, go <laughs> talk to the police chief after you just. <laughs> I know, right? You gotta go pay your bounty, too, because if you go back, they're gonna get you dude they are all over my fucking cock i can't go in the water because that's this danger that's this death they're, yeah they're catching back up yeah to you. but they're 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 pretty far dude, away they're now. fucking right behind you i am aware uh so he had like a fetish apparently some of the girls uh said that he had a coprophilia fetish where he would have them shit on his chest and his mouth oh jesus you get that, back to the poop dude yeah well, I just, well this is why it kind of it felt relevant for me <laughs> so, I guess so. Because I, I do talk about that a lot. Not that I'm into it, but I do talk about it a lot. I just think it's kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, and then, like, uh, he apparently, like, broke into the government over there in Belize. He broke into their, their system and had, like, some compromising information. Biggie. And then they, like, sent a SWAT team to, like, get him and oh he God. like faked a heart attack and dude there's so much i can't even tell it all because i'm like i was in playing the game but he plans on running for president so vote for him i guess anyone can make it he apparently he even ran for president a few years back and he actually won like some primaries in a couple states or some shit i think like vermont was one of them like his where all his family lives yeah but he has a lot of shit going on man. yeah dude that's pretty how do you clear this bounty by the way it's i mean i gotta go to the post office so like this this is not the post office no. how, about, how about this how far are we? 20 minutes 
I can cut this part out. This is not a problem. And then I can just pick up when we're at the post office or I can just pick up when we're at the guy. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, whatever. It, you'll be, yeah, you'll just be like, hey, I can cut it. The next thing you'll All be right. like, hey, we're at the post office. All right. When we get back, I'll be at the post office. Okay. Okay, so after running from the cops for 12 hours, oh we're finally God. here. <laughs> yeah, we're back. We're Holy back. Holy shit. You All don't right, so even we're going know. to talk to the police chief now that we're not uh, in trouble. Get permission to demonstrate the electric chair. So welcome to our humble police house. Ossifer. Hey, I know you were just I was just wanted, but... Wait, I want to... Do I just go I in here? I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you Hello? need. What do you need, boy? Chief. I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. A humane An electric execution. chair. And he uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. An electric chair. Ah, That's I'm awesome. familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's going to cost you $100 in fees. No oh, shit. Well, that's nothing because I'm flush with cash. Yeah, you're rich as fuck, dude. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you <laughs> I handed them air dollars. <laughs> well, you know, air dollars were a nice problem. currency back in the day. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell <laughs> that to the professor. Good luck. Oh, man. You know what? I feel like if the climax of this episode is I get to see somebody electrocuted in an electric chair, it's all worth it. I know, right? That's kind of what I thought, too. The I was 10 like, minutes of running away from the cop in yep. fucking St. Denis, which is impossible. Well, what they didn't see was he ran all the way away, came all the way back, and then the cops were so all over the goddamn town that you got caught again and had to run right. away again. Yep. And then, yeah, it was, it was, a, it was quite not the, entertaining for the channel. That's for damn sure. I don't know. It might have been harrowing. It might have been a harrowing watch for other people. It may have been, I guess. We just sat here basically looking at each I other. I mean, I felt like I was on heroin while I watched oh. it. Oh! <laughs> get it, wordplay. <laughs> get it, you drugs. Yeah. <laughs> get it. it oh, bad epidemics. <laughs> Yeah, you, kids, don't don't do drugs. Can we can we just go ahead and get that out there? Can we get our PSA in. Yeah, that's our PSA. There's there's certain drugs that are okay, <laughs> and then there's certain ones that aren't. All right, look, honestly, anything that can kill you from one use is not okay. The fuck? There's an unholy trinity, and and what are they, Jonas? Uh, crack, meth, and heroin. Very good. Is that the unholy trinity? It is. All right. All I right. mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, Self-explanatory. Right, right, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. That's let's... all we say no to those three. Horsey, you wait there, okay? I'm like gonna... those, there's no exception to those three ever. I, I, I was going to jump the fence, but eh. it won't let me jump the fence. Yeah, it also will not let me trees run. There, you know? Fuck them trees. All right, let's ah, see. What... Hello, friend. Hello, Professor. Professor. Andrew Bell the third. The moonshine That's has to do with the electric so, chair. That's what I'm confused. She says you can mm. test out your machine, ah. bending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty Jesus as sin. Christ, you have to go find the guy now. McDaniels, wanted for murder, bigamy, <laughs> know, right? immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Animal husbandry. Uh, here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. All right, we're going to finish this one on the next one? Man, I guess so, man. They're putting me to fucking work over here. Yeah, no shit, right? All right. <clears throat> where? right. Let's see where this guy is. If he's in town, we may be able to just get him now. No idea where he is. Is this the guy? No, it's Mary Beth. She needs to speak to you. Is that your ex-wife? Oh, the lady that I clicked no on before. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where he is. That's a bounty poster. All right, yeah, I guess well, we'll shouldn't do, he be like I guess we'll prominent do it on. on the map? Like, you would think so. Oh, you know what I can do? That's cool. I can uh, pull up the index and boom. That's Dutchie. Mary That's Beth. Mary Beth. Professor down, down, down. Let's see where that is. And, and, and close the map. 
Oh my god, dude! Seriously. Oh Jesus. Yeah, that'll be next episode. All right. But well, we'll that start is out there. Because ha- you're gonna have to fucking get him, tie him up, and bring him back too. Yeah, and God forbid that I accidentally brush up against a cop on the way there. Yeah, no shit, right? Well, that is all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to lie to your friends about us and tell them to subscribe because we're good. Yep. And uh, you know all those other things. Ring that fucking bell. Ding a ling a ling. So they get notified when we have new content available. But for Jonas, for TND Trainamite, <laughs> we are out. out.